Hello and welcome to the food department at Kingsbridge Community College. My name is Liz Dyer and today I would like to talk to you about the food preparation and nutrition GCSE which we offer at Kingsbridge. So why choose food preparation and nutrition? This GCSE will equip students with skills for life. It's a practical subject and so will help develop kinesthetic skills. It's a very successful and enjoyable course that we offer. What is covered? So alongside food preparation skills, and that's the making, handling of ingredients, <clears throat> we also integrate the following seven sections. Food commodities, principles of nutrition, food safety, diet and good health, the science of food, where food comes from, cooking and food preparation. What will we make? We make a whole range of different products from different breads, pastries, sauces. We also look at individual commodities in great detail and make dishes using those commodities such as milk, cheese, yogurt, eggs, chicken, meat, fish. Students learn how to portion chicken, how to descale fish, how to fillet fish. So as many skills as we can um, integrate into um, those individual commodities we do. What will they be assessed on? There's a 50% written exam and that happens in the summer of their year 11 year. There's also a food investigation task known as NEA1 and a food preparation task NEA2. We'll look at those in, in more detail. The written exam is based on the theoretical knowledge of food preparation and nutrition from the subject content. It's assessed by 100 marks in a written exam that lasts an hour and 45 minutes. It makes up 50% of the overall GCSE. So the questions are 20, 20 marks for multiple choice and 80 marks, um, which is split into five questions, which each have a number of sub questions. The NEA1 is a food investigation task and it's food science based and that makes up 15% the overall GCSE. It looks at the student's understanding of the working characteristics, functional and chemical properties of ingredients. The NEA2 is a food preparation task and that's worth 35% of the overall GCSE. So it looks at students' knowledge, skills and understanding in relation to planning, preparing, cooking and presenting food and also the application of nutrition related to the food products. Students will be required to prepare and cook and present a final menu of three dishes within three hours, which they will have planned and which they will evaluate. The NEA1 and NEA2 tasks are released every September for that current year group and they change every year. What can you do if you if you take food preparation and nutrition as a GCSE? Where can it where can it lead to? <clears throat> so food science, a food science degree, uh, food science and innovation, human nutrition, food marketing, nutritional therapy. As a career, it can take you into any of these um, any of these areas vast, vast areas um, <clears throat> that you could go into, such as product development, agricultural science, food science, sports science, food styling, retailing, catering, branding, manufacturing, quality control. So I hope this has helped to inform you of the food preparation and nutrition GCSE. If you do have any further questions, please don't hesitate to email me 
at liz.dyer at kingsbridgecollege.org.uk. Thank you for listening.